Hey, brothers and sisters, welcome to Hebrew Readers Church. I'm your brother Kasafo, along with your brother Zakwa. Just doing a quick little video on understanding where this last day of the feast originated from, just to have an understanding of what where what transpired to cause it to be, and hopefully encourage us in our time as we're going to enjoy this last day where we can cook and enjoy our time together, giving thanks unto Allah for his festival day. Um, Brother Zakwar, can you jump into Jubilees chapter 32, verse 1 to 29, please? Sure. Jubilees chapter 32, verse 1. And he abode that night at Bethel, and Levi dreamed that they had ordained and made him the priest of the Most High Allah, him and his sons forever. And he awoke from his sleep and blessed the higher. And Jacob rose early in the morning on the 14th of this month. And he gave a tithe of all that came with him, both of men and cattle, both of gold and every vessel and garment. Yea, he gave tithes of all. And in those so days... There you see... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. If I may... There you see, it was in this seventh month that Levi had the dream that he would be priest. And you can corroborate that story with Testament of Levi, where he spoke of the same thing. And on the 14th day of this month, which is the day before the Feast of Tabernacles actually started, Jacob gave tithes of all that he had that we just read. And let's continue to understand what transpired during the Feast of Tabernacles back then. All right, continue, please. And in those days, Rachel became pregnant with her son, Benjamin. And Jacob counted his sons from him upwards to Levi, fell to the portion of Ahiah. And his father clothed him in garments of the priesthood and filled his hands. And on the fifteenth day of this month, he brought, he brought to the altar fourteen ox, oxen from among the cattle, and twenty-eight rams, and forty-nine sheep, and seven lambs and 21 kids of the goats as a burnt offering on the altar of sacrifice. Well pleasing for a sweet savor before Allah. This was his offering in consequence of the vow which he had vowed that he would give a tenth with their fruit, with their fruit offerings and their drink offerings. And when the fire had consumed it, he burnt incense on the on the fire over the fire, and for a thank offering, two oxen and four rams and four sheep, four he goats and two sheep of a year old, and two kids of the goats, and thus he did daily for seven days. Then we see what Jacob did on the Feast of Tabernacles back then, because the Feast of Tabernacles was re re revealed to Abraham. So they were keeping the feast all the way up until Jacob's days, as we see. Continue, please. And he and all his sons and his men were eating this, excuse me, were eating with joy. They're doing seven days and blessing and thanking Ahia, who had delivered him out of all his tribulation and had given him his vow. And he tied all the clean animals and made a burnt sacrifice. But the unclean animals he gave not to Levi his son. And he gave him all the, all the souls of the men. And Levi discharged the priestly office at Bethel before Jacob his father in preference to his ten brothers. And he was a priest there. And Jacob gave him, and Jacob gave his vow. Thus he tithed again, and tithed to Ahia and sanctified it, and it became holy unto him. And for this reason it is ordained on the heavenly tablets as a law for the tithing again, the tithe to eat before Ahia from year to year, in the place where it is chosen that his name should dwell. And to this there is no limit of days forever. This ordinance is Amen. written that it may be fulfilled from year to year and eaten the second tithe before Ahia in the place where it has been chosen. And nothing shall remain over from it from this year to the year following. For in it, for in this year 
shall the seed be eaten to the days of the gathering of the seed of the year, and the wine to the days of the wine, and the oil to the days of the season. And all that is left thereof, and becometh old, let it be regarded as polluted. Let it be burnt with fire, for it is unclean. And thus let them eat and and thus let them eat it together in the sanctuary, and let them not suffer it, and let them not suffer it to become old. And all the tithes of the oxen and sheep shall be holy unto Ahia, and shall belong to his priests, which they will eat before him from year to year. For thus it is ordained and engraven regarding the tithes of the heavenly tab- tables. And then we see the feast during the feast, right before the Feast of Tabernacles is when the um, institution of tithes became a law, an official law on the heavenly tablets. All right. And going on, brother, if you will continue, please. Verse 16. And on the following night, on the 22nd day of this month, Jacob resolved to build that place and to surround the court with a wall, and to sanctify it and make it holy forever, for himself and for his children after him. And Ahiah appeared to him by night and blessed him, and said unto him, Thy name shall not be, be thy name shall not be called Jacob, but Israel shall thy name excuse me, but Israel shall they name thy name. And he said unto him again, I am Ahiah who created the heaven and the earth, and I shall increase thee and multiply thee exceedingly, and kings will come forth from thee, and they will judge everywhere, wherever the foot of the sons of men have trodden. And it shall and it shall and I shall give to thy seed all the earth which is under heaven, and they will judge all the nations according to their desires. And after that they will get possession of the whole earth and inherit it forever. And he finished speaking with him, and he went up from him. And Jacob looked till he had ascended into heaven. And he saw in a vision of the night, and behold, an angel descended from heaven with seven tablets in his hands. And he gave them to Jacob, and he read them, and knew all that was written therein which would befall him and his sons throughout all the ages. And he showed him all that was written on the tablets, and said unto him, Do not build this place, and do not make it an eternal sanctuary, and do not dwell here, for this is not the place. Go to the house of Abraham thy father, and dwell with Isaac thy father, until the day of the death of thy father. For in Egypt thou wilt die in peace, and in this land, Thou wilt thou wilt be buried with honor in the in the sepulchre of thy fathers with Abraham and Isaac. Fear not, for as thou hast seen and read it, thus will excuse me, thus will it all be. And do thou write down everything as thou hast seen and read. And Jacob said, I don't know. How can I remember all that I have read and seen? And he said unto him, I will bring all things to thy remembrance. And he went up from him, and he awoke from his sleep. And he remembered everything which he had read and seen. And he wrote down all the words which he had read and seen. And he celebrated there yet another day. And he sank, and he sacrificed thereon according to all that he sacrificed on the former days, and called his name Addition. For this day was there added. There we see the... Oh. Go ahead. Um, there we see where the, when this last day that's coming was added to the feast and its original name was addition. This helps with edification on the origin and understanding what was behind this celebration that we're about to have. Uh, can you say that again? Your voice is choppy. Uh, there we have understanding of where this feast that we're about to partake in tomorrow is coming from and how, why it was added in due to the acts and the events that transpired with Jacob and the original name being the addition, right? That's 
Is that clear? Uh, it was better. They could understand it. It was still a little choppy, though. Oh, man. For this day was added. Oh. In the former days, he called the feast. And thus it was manifested that it should be. And it is written on the heavenly tablets. Therefore, it was revealed to him that he should celebrate it and add it to the seven days of the feast. And his name was called Addition, because that it was recorded amongst the days of the feast days, according to the number of the days of the year. And in the night, on the 23rd of this month, Deborah, Rebecca's nurse, died. And they buried her there in we the go. City. Okay. Yeah, that's so, yeah, going into other things. <laughs> right. uh, so that <laughs> there we understand the name, the original name of this day to come is the addition and understand when and why these things were revealed to Jacob. So hopefully we get to enjoy it and uh, you all get to enjoy it with your loved ones and um, a higher willing. Uh, we this will not be the only one we get to celebrate all right and uh as you all see the wreaths on the heads i don't know if you all knew you're a little choppy all right you go ahead the 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 days the additional day the the feast was originally seven days and they added the additional day um for the the last great day of the eighth day and um we can also see how Jacob, how he knew what would befall all his children when we read Genesis 49 to see exactly where that came from, where where Jacob was given that wisdom that Elohim had bestowed upon him to to be able to tell to his children. Um, and as far as the reeves, I know Castle was about to go into the reeves. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. You go if you want. Just read Jubilees chapter sixteen, verse twenty-nine and uh, thirty. It'll help understand why we have the reeds on our heads for the Feast of Tabernacles. What was it? Fifteen. I mean, sixteen twenty sixteen, verse twenty-nine and thirty. You said Jubilees or, or Leviticus? Yes, Jubilees. Okay, all right. That's what I thought you said. I can't, I can't hear you that well. All right. All right. But we can hear you now. All right, 16 and what? Verse 29 and 30. Okay. Jubilee chapter 16, verse 29. For this reason, it was ordained on the hev heavenly tablets. I mean, the, for this reason, it was ordained on the heavenly tables concerning Israel that they shall celebrate the feast of tabernacles seven days with joy, in the seventh in the seventh month acceptable before Ahia, a statute forever throughout the generations every year. And to this there is no limit of days, for it is ordained forever regarding Israel that they, that they should celebrate it and dwell in booths and set wreaths upon their heads and take leafy bowls and willows from the brook. And Abraham took branches of palm trees and the fruit of goodly trees, and every day going round the altar with the branches seven times in the morning, he praised and gave thanks to his Elohim for all things in joy. There we, that's why we wear the reeds. So... Hope you all enjoy the feast, and uh, I will, and we will be seeing you all soon enough. I, uh, I keep everybody, I hope everybody enjoys the feast day. Uh, if there's anything, any questions that you need to ask us or anything regarding the feast day or any other questions, please just send us an email at hebrewreaders at gmail.com. Uh, if you have any other questions or topics, uh, we'll be glad to answer them. Uh, we hope everybody enjoys the Feast of Tabernacles and and those who are on the uh, what's it, western portion of the world. Uh, we hope everybody's still enjoying their Shabbat day. So, Shabbat to Chalam. Yes, yes. All right. Chalam, everyone. Oh, 
I'm sorry. The the um I apologize. The the hopefully you see from the reading as well that we don't dwell in booths on the eighth day because the feast of tabernacles was over. The the addition does not include dwelling boots. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Right. That was all. Just in case nobody hears you, my 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 microphone right. is better. Um, okay. As you can see, with the welling with the welling booth for the seven days, but on the eighth day, the day of addition, it doesn't. Uh, does the law doesn't ordain us to dwell in booths on the eighth day? So everybody can get the understanding of why we dwell in booths for seven days, and then on the last great day, we don't dwell in booths. So. All right. Anything else, Casa? Uh, that's all. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Chalam, everybody. <laughs> Hello.